Who doesn't enjoy a nice bowl of buttery, salty popcorn? It's a simple, delicious snack. Whether you're enjoying it during your family movie night or just devouring them all by yourself as you binge watch your favorite Netflix show. Although it's typically a low-fat, low-calorie food, popcorn can be very unhealthy as it is full of salt and can contribute to high blood pressure and other health complications. Now, with the hustle and bustle of our everyday busy lives, microwave popcorn has become very uh, popular. But is it safe? While popcorn itself can be relatively healthy without the butter and the extra salt, the problem can lie with the microwavable safe bags that the kernels are actually in. According to a December 2013 report, microwave popcorn bags contain chemicals called perfluorooctanoic acid and perfluorooctane sulfonate, PFOA and PFOS for short. It's the same chemical used in the Teflon nonstick coating. Some chemicals used to coat the bags and to keep the oils from leaking out are likely carcinogens. A report published in the October 2019 edition of the Environmental Health Perspective, researchers reported that eating microwave popcorn from the microwave safe bag had a significant positive association of PFOA and PFOS in the blood. They also made the point that these chemicals can stay in the blood for three and a half to 4.8 years. So how do you get around using microwave bags that contain all of these chemicals when you're popping your popcorn? Well, one thing you can do is try to look for safer alternatives. Uh, there are some companies that has a chemical-free microwave safe bag. I'll go ahead and list those in the description. For you. But if you have a little bit of time, the best way to enjoy your popcorn is to pop it yourself on your stove top. This way you can enjoy fresh popcorn without the worry of chemicals. Because of the ease and convenience of making microwave popcorn, an alternative method of having microwave popcorn using a brown paper bag. Now this can be a little tricky in itself because a lot of brown paper bags are, they're recycled. So they have their own sets of issues. So my children and I decided to test exactly how easy it was to make our own brown paper bag microwave popcorn. According to the FDA, the ink, glue, and recycled material in brown paper bags may emit toxic fumes when the bag is heated and may also be flammable. So we decided to use these microwave-safe, eco-friendly brown paper bag. They're certified food grade and also biodegradable. I started out with the Arrowhead Mills Organic Yellow Popcorn. I then measured out a quarter cup of the kernels and then I poured that into a glass container. Of course, the glass container isn't mandatory. I just thought it might be easier when I added my oil. I then added a teaspoon of oil. In this case, I used olive oil and then I mixed it all together. I then poured the kernel and oil combination into my brown paper bag. I then added a teaspoon of salt and then I mixed it together by giving it a good shake. These bags do not have the wax coating, so of course you notice the oil is starting to seep through. I gave it two folds at the top and off to the microwave it goes. We've never done this before, so I'm not quite sure what to expect, but I am definitely hoping for the best. I put it in the microwave for two minutes and 30 seconds. All right, it's all done and I'm so excited to check out our popcorn. Oops. <laughs> Apparently my folds weren't tight enough for a quarter cup of kernels was too much. The finished product looked pretty good. Well, this certainly was an adventure. Also, another great alternative is by using silicone microwavable uh, containers. I'll put a link for those in the description as well. I hope you got something from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, share this information. Maybe you can help somebody else out. Let me know, do you use microwavable bags for your popcorn or do you pop it on the stovetop? Or what are some of the other methods that you use? I'd love to hear what you have to say. Go ahead and leave a comment. And until next time, God bless.